How can you use the CFX pixel sequencer and what can you use it for? I'll show you right now. Accent pixels are new pixels that are wired to the CFX and they are usually used for uh, crystal reveal uh, to light the crystal here or just as accents on the insides uh, of your hilt. Um, before this latest update it wasn't possible to animate these pixels with their own uh, RGB colors and their own patterns but with the new accent pixel sequencer, this is possible. Um, furthermore, you can create very elaborate uh, animations uh, with uh, morphing and even uh, different animations across different stages. So you can really bring these accent pixels to life. Uh, as example, this is the uh, idle state of the saber and I can ignite the blade. This will have a, a separate uh, animation. Also, you can see over here are two pixels that are uh, in series with the blade, so they, they mimic the blade. This is purely the uh, ignited stage. And we can have also a different stage, like the lockup. Which is, again, a different stage and a different animation. And then we have the power down and the idle state again power down and back to the idle state again. So here you see uh, a couple of different stages for the pixel sequencer. Uh, and now let's show how you can configure this yourself. If you take a look at the default package or the SD card, um, it's now possible to place specialized uh, pixel sequencer files inside each font folder. So if you take a look at this font folder, uh, and we can uh, sort this by name. You can now see I've got several pixel files in here. Most importantly is this pixels.txt file, which is the configuration file of the pixel sequencer. If we open this up, we can see that this uh, file uh, will contain uh, the uh, names of several stages, uh, of which right now are supported only the uh, power on, power off, LEDs, which is the ignited stage, the idle stage, and the lockup stage. Now, by default, um, this will have uh, uh, several lines. Uh, the first line means accents. This will determine the uh, kind of uh, uh, trend transition that each pixel will do. Um, this is A for a regular transition. This is a hard transition between two colors. You've got the M which will make the pixel morph between two colors so it will it will slowly transition into the new color and you also have the s uh, which means that the pixel will mirror the regular uh, led strip the blade strip so if you place this uh, uh, into an m then that pixel will uh, will morph so you can you can uh, configure each pixel individually and say, okay, I've got, uh, I've got three accent pixels. I want to first to uh, really uh, do a, a hard transition between two colors. Uh, I want the second one to morph, and the uh, last one is really close to the blade, and I want this to uh, mimic the, uh, the blade. So if you have this, uh, you've got three accent pixels, then you need to make sure that each of these uh, stages has three uh, uh, accent uh, settings so I'll make sure these are all uh, contain the free next you have the sequence this will uh, provide the name of the bitmap image file that contains the sequence uh, if we take a look I've got here the pixels on file and uh, here inside the same font folder is the pixels on file. Uh, the same goes for the other stages, pixels off, pixels, pixels idle, and pixels lockup. These are all mentioned right here. Next is the refresh effects. This will determine the, the, the detail in which the uh, transition will happen if it's set to morph. 
Um, so you can make it really, really uh, detailed and really smooth, or you can make it less smooth. And next is the delay, which will uh, determine the time between each transition to the next line of the animation. So setting this to 500 will give a slower animation than setting this to 100. Now, let's take a look at what is going on inside these uh, image files. Right, for simplicity's sake, I've uh, taken out a couple of these uh, uh, pixel images and the pixels configuration file, and uh, let's have a look. Um, this is my own configuration, which I've shown at the start of this video. And I have one accent pixel, uh, which is uh, to the crystal. So I've got one uh, accent configuration and I've got a pixels.bmp and I've got a pixels.idle.bmp. Let's take those two as an example. Um, or let's take the, the, uh, the, the idle version. If we open this file up and you can edit this in paint or paint 3D if you happen to have that, you will see this is simply an image. And what's so special about this image? It's a bitmap image and the width of the image is uh, uh, exactly the same amount as the number of pixels. So if you have 10 accent pixels, then this image should be 10 pixels wide. If you have one accent pixel like I have, then make sure that this image is one pixel wide. The uh, height will determine the length of the animation. So what happens? The CFX will read this uh, file from bottom to top. Um, this, is, uh, this has a technical reason because bitmap files are usually stored upside down uh, on the disk, but uh, it will be read from bottom to top and from left to right. So if you have uh, 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 12 uh, pixels, then the first, the first line will be read all 12 pixels and uh, it will move upwards to show you that animation. Now, in this case, it's a rather simple animation and you will see that the uh, pixel in idle stage will just go between these two, uh, these two colors. Also, in the idle stage, you will see that this pixel will morph and uh, it's animated rather slowly because the delay is set to 500. Now, in the uh, lockup stage, I said that one pixel should have a rather uh, direct transition to the other color because I really want to, uh, not to make it smooth, but really make it uh, uh, look and feel like a, a lockup. And I use the pixels lockup.bmp, which is this one. Let's have a look. And it's a smaller one. It begins with two colors and then uh, black. So the color black will mean that the pixel will not emit any light and not any, it will not show any color. Uh, so this will show uh, these two colors, then nothing, these two colors, then nothing, and it will repeat itself. And since it's a rather harsh uh, uh, transition between those two colors, it will give a really nice lockup effect like you saw before. I've also made sure that the delay is set really low, so it will repeat itself really, really fast and each line of that uh, bitmap file will be uh, only visible very, very shortly, only 10 milliseconds. Um, that's about it for the uh, bitmap files. Now, let's see if we can uh, fool the CFX and play around a bit with these full blade style animations. Now, what you might have seen on the uh, Facebook groups or on Instagram is that there are a couple of people, including myself, that are creating full blade styles and full blade animations using this pixel sequencer. Um, actually, at this firmware stage, the uh, pixel sequencer is only meant for uh, accent pixels. But we can fool the CFX and uh, say, okay, my entire blade is uh, built up of only these accent pixels. And this way we can already start to experiment using the pixel sequencer for the entire blade. Um, this is uh, a bit hacky. 
Um, but the next firmware update or maybe the update uh, after that will deliver the full-blown blade styles using this pixel sequencer. So let's show how you can uh, do this, uh, this, this, this minor hack and start experimenting yourself. So what you need to do is you need to open the uh, config and say the uh, LED strip which will contain your uh, normal blade style uh, or your normal blade pixels and this, this will usually contain uh, a number like 120 or 124 set this to uh, zero and set the accent strip number to the number of pixels in your blade and um, so this way the cfx will think that your entire blade is made out of accent pixels so save this then what you need to do is you need to go to the uh, pixels file pixels.txt within a font and for each stage you will need to uh, uh, configure each pixel inside the blade and say I want this to have the uh, morphing feature or the regular transition feature so uh, in this case I want to have uh, 124 pixels so I need to mention this 124 times it's 10 100, 110, 120, 124. Now I can copy and paste this for each uh, stage and I want uh, simply for all of them to morph and let's save this and I can also change if I want the file name of each of these uh, uh, sequence bitmaps. Now, I want the uh, regular power on to use one of my faulty ignition styles that I created. So I want this bitmap file to be used. So let's change the name. The power on, the faulty ignition name. Let's save this. I want to copy the faulty ignition bitmap inside the font folder. I want to make sure that it has a rather uh, short delay so it uh, will uh, animate rather quickly. Let's save this and now let's see what happens if I uh, ignite the blade. And I've already done this before and it will show this. That's the faulty ignition style, and actually, uh, I've created a, a, a real, uh, a rather large file just to show you. This is the ignition faulty style. So, what you see on the blade is uh, first all pixels will be black, then a part will be white, again white white, uh, one of these uh, motion lines that you will see, and the flickering at the end. So one more time. So to create this uh, bitmap file, it actually just cost me about 10 minutes. It was it was really easy. So once you know that you need to mention uh, the exact number of uh, pixels, this is 124. My bitmap file is 124 uh, pixels wide. I can set the delay, uh, so this is, uh, this is about the same as the frame rate of your animation and I can set the sequence file that will be read and that is the, uh, in this case it's the pixels faulty ignition. Um, that's, about, that's about it, you can, you can uh, experiment using uh, each stage, also the idle stage, but then again make sure uh, or just know that this is not meant for the entire blade. It's just meant for the accent pixels and in a later stage the full-blown blade styles will make use of these uh, bitmap images. Um, so you can have some fun right now and be prepared as soon as that new firmware update will be there. Um, I hope I made any sense. If not, please let me know and I will try to help you uh, experiment with this. Enjoy. Bye bye.